If I haven't mentioned it already, I got selected to my second Pan Am Games. And well, I'm really excited. Pan Am Games are pretty special. They are one of the largest multi-sport games in the world, next to the Olympic Games. And they're one year before the Olympics, so it gives us a perfect opportunity to basically do a full run through before the games next summer. Now, of course we do want to win Pan Am Games, but we are going to be training through because next season is super close and we're still not qualified for the Olympics. We have three races to go. So we're going to be on some good form early next season. So that's why we're going to be training through and uh, just kind of going with the form we have and uh, just seeing how things go. So today's supposed to be a heavy back squat day, so we'll get warmed up for that and uh, see if we can put on the bar today. Are you excited for Pan Am Games? I'm very excited for Pan Am Games. Are you excited for Pan Am Games? You bet I am. Are you excited for Pan Am Games? Yeah, just a little bit. First session of the day done. Let's get ready for track this afternoon. Pan Am Games is pretty special to me in more ways than one. Yes, it's a major games and yes, it's another race, but it holds a little bit more value to me. And the reason that back in 2019, I was selected to my first Pan Am Games, which was one of my first really big international races aside from just one World Cup. But it was my first real big opportunity as a senior national team rider to represent Canada on a bigger scale than just a cycling World Cup, which is obviously still a big deal, but my first major games experience. There's a lot of hype around a major games with the, you know, being with Team Canada, being in a village, being around a whole lot of other sports. I was young at the time, I was only 19 and it was my first, like I said, big major game. So didn't really know what to expect, kind of went in with some expectations, thought maybe I had a shot at a medal, but I really wasn't sure at that point. So I just went in kind of just hoping for the best and having that hype, you know, being in the village, being around other sports, kind of just brings the energy up. So I was super, super excited to get to race and um, kind of maybe get my shot at a medal. And I went into the race and I qualified third, which was a bit unexpected for me, but I knew I was fast at the time. And I put down a good time and put me in third place, like I said. But I went into the sprint round and I, at that point, didn't have a whole lot of racing experience outside of, you know, basically just nationals at home and didn't really know what I was doing. And I went in and I got pinned to the rail by an Argentina rider and I lost. I had no idea what I was doing. It was one of those things that just kind of took me by surprise, didn't really know what to do, didn't know how to react, but <laughs> there were some tears involved. I was still a kid, <laughs> but it hurt and it stings because Pan Am Games only comes around every four years. So I had to wait, well, till now to get another shot to redeem myself. 
and I'm just super, super excited to get back to Pan Am Games and get another shot at a medal. And now we're going with the team sprint, which I think you know we sh we should be able to win. And I think the boys are all in really good form, and we are a good team. We should be able to win that. So that's expectation number one is to get that medal, and then hopefully you know I can put a good performance together in the sprint and come out with a medal there as well. Because I think just having that redemption and um, having that medal from sprint is something that I have been looking forward to for four years. I've done two other major games since then and I think I have a little bit of experience at that level. So being able to go back to Pan Am Games a little more confidence, a little more race experience, knowing that I'm in good form right now, I'm just really hoping I can put a performance together that can come out with a medal at the end of the day. I'm also just you know, super excited to be back with Team Canada. Being in a village is something special that you don't really get to experience that often. Commonwealth Games and Tokyo, the Olympics, we were in satellite villages, so we weren't able to be with all of Team Canada. Being in that games environment is super special and something you don't get to do very often, so I really, really cherish that little bit. Um, but yeah, super, super excited to get back to Pan Am Games and uh, be back with Team Canada. All right, let's go to the track. It's a race helmet kind of day. Also we need the 70. Special gear. You guys have seen me change my gear about a hundred times, but it's because I only change my gear a hundred times. It's a large part of the training session is just changing gears. So that's why you see it so often. Race gear. Just a couple flying efforts today. Race gear. Getting pretty close to the race now, so time to start going fast. And uh, race wheels with rock solid tires helps in that a little bit. We always try to put a little bit extra than 200 in. No, maybe go to maybe go to 210. targets today are just sort of getting dialed back into that race approach finding that feeling again of doing a race entry we've been doing a lot of big over gear stuff so that kind of changes the approach a little bit so just getting back to finding that feeling and uh, hopefully the time start coming down as well
Last one. Track session done, another one in the books. Only a few days more until we fly. That's all I got for you. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all those things, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in Chile, I guess. One more thing I forgot to add. I will be vlogging Pan Am Games as much as I possibly can, but they will not come out until after the games because I'll just be busy competing and be busy in the village, so editing will be at a minimum. If you want to be following along for more results, more updates from the games, be sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm going to post there a lot more frequently during the games. That's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. She's going to be there too. She's also vlogging if you want to. Check out her channel, link in description.